Horvat breaking in. Deeks scores. Right there all over. Oh, and he stopped by Zelto. He scored. Brock Besser. Reed Boucher joins us now. Reed, how are you? Good, you? Very well. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Um, you found yourself a home in Vancouver? Um, no. Yeah, I haven't found a place or anything, but yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, an nice on ice to, home, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice to uh, get settled in here with a contract, and looking forward to training camp and this upcoming year. What was last year like for you? Jeff just talked about it, uh, bouncing around Nashville. New Jersey, then Vancouver. What was that like, and how would you compare it to uh, the reasonable stability you have now? Yeah, I mean, it was a tough year for me, personally, just moving around everywhere and never really knowing where I'm going to land. And, you know, it was nice to spend the second half in Vancouver and get settled in a little bit and, you know, start playing more hockey. He's not here anymore, but uh, did you ever feel like you kind of fit into Willie D's system. Did uh, you guys mesh as a, a player and a coach? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's not like we argued over things or anything. I just, uh, obviously, he didn't like the way that I played. And, you know, he thought that I was out of shape and everything. And that was a big part of it Come when I first got there. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say that I didn't mesh or do anything that he didn't like. It's just he never really found time to get me in games. Was there a conditioning issue in your mind uh, when you arrived here? I mean, maybe maybe a little. I don't think it was anything huge. Um, You know, obviously I didn't really play a lot of hockey the whole season, so it's kind of easy to fall out of game shape. But I thought once I got a couple couple games playing 10-plus minutes, I felt really good. So what about a new coach? Uh, how do you approach that uh, in a season when you played for a bunch of coaches, but do you look at it as just a clean yeah. slate to come in here and improve yourself? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I went through it in Jersey a couple years ago. It's just coming into training camp, ready to go and in shape and making a good first impression and go from there. Reed, what are you going to work on in the off season? Or what are you working on? Yeah, well, I'm making sure that I'm, there's no issues about conditioning or anything. That's first first thing I address. I don't want any excuses not to play pretty much. But um, you know, I want to give myself every every shot available to um, you know crack the lineup at training camp and earn a spot on the team. What are you making sure? What are you doing to make sure you're in tip top shape in terms of conditioning? What are your workouts consist you know, I, of? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm training six days a week right now. With, doing a lot of running i have a um good uh good strength coach here and you know doing a lot of running going to the track a couple days a week and just making sure uh and down the eyes and crossing the t's hey reed there's so many uh trust me so many minor hockey players and minor hockey parents that listen to a show like this you've got the gift of a great shot. Was that something that just happened right off the bat once you could raise a puck, or did you have to work at it? No, I worked at it a long time. I um, I had a good skills coach when I was growing up, and um, you know I used to go out and work with him, shooting pucks, shooting at different angles, and working on ways to get pucks into a shooting position as quick as possible. I worked really hard at that. What advice would you give to kids who are working on their shots? Repetition. I mean, I shot thousands and thousands of pucks when I was growing up, and, you know, that only strengthens everything. So, I mean, my wrists are pretty strong, good forearms, and that helps with shooting the puck. Where's, uh, where is your off-season home? I'm living in Ann Arbor, Michigan right now. Do you give yourself a, a couple of months away from the ice? Like, are you back on skates yet, or is that something that will happen in August? No, I've been back on the ice since June. I mean, like I said, I've been working on my conditioning pretty good this summer. I've been skating two, three days a week for this pretty much the whole summer. I took a couple months, or not a couple, I took a month off when I got back home after the season and jumped right back into it. How relieved were you to avoid arbitration? I mean, I'm sure you've heard the horror stories. It's a tool that exists uh, if it goes there, but were you happy to avoid that part of the process? Yeah, yeah. I mean, anytime you come to terms on a deal, I think it's good for both sides. I 
I didn't really want to take it to arbitration and make it a big deal. And, you know, I think we settled on a, a fair contract. What did you make of what the Canucks were up to on July the 1st in free agency? They were pretty active. I think uh, maybe a little busier than some teams th- or some people thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's going to make for a very competitive training camp. And, uh, you know, that's what I've been spending my whole summer getting ready for it. And it's about a month away now. So I'm getting pretty excited to get back to it. And I just want to, you know, give myself a chance at making this team. There's a lot of forwards on contracts right now, and it's going to be very competitive, like I said, and I just want to get in there and give myself the best chance to make the team. Hey, Reed, ultimately you play where a coach puts you, but we saw you in a couple of spots uh, you know, in this past season. Ideally, where do you see yourself? Are you a left winger or a right winger? Like, Where do you feel you play your best hockey? I play either side. I play, I mean... I'm probably more comfortable on the left side, but, um, you know, I'll play the right side. It's not a big issue for me, but I definitely like, uh, feel more comfortable in an offensive role, playing more minutes. I think that everybody would like to play more minutes, but, you know, maybe some power play time. That's what it, it all comes down to training camp and how your practices go and doing well in the games to give yourself an opportunity to get on the power play and stuff. So that's what I've been, um, uh, Working towards. Just wrapping up with Reed Boucher. What do you know about Travis Green, Reed? I don't know much. I've had a couple of conversations with him this summer about what he expects, and you know, it, he seems like a coach that demands the best out of you. And um, I'm excited to work with him. Well, thanks for doing this, Reed. And just so you know, we talked uh, earlier. We started this conversation talking about you finding a home in Vancouver. We're talking about an on ice home. You thought we were talking. Were, we were talking about a condo. <laughs> Listen, Daniel and Henrik can't afford a house in Vancouver. Yeah. Okay. Next contract, maybe. Reed, thanks for doing this, my friend. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Be- best of luck.